upon a non technical topic today uh, you know you have heard a lot of uh, sres and devops uh, and you know prometheus and solar solar power right now uh, i'm going to talk about developer relations uh, which is a newer term or a newer role that you most of you might have you know heard uh, you know maybe on social media everywhere uh, and i'm sure you would have come across people attending conferences worldwide traveling every day here and there giving away swags uh but i'm sure that you know a lot of people a lot of you sitting here might not know what goes behind it uh what's it all about so uh i am atul priya sharma you can find me on twitter as the tech maharaj uh i am a developer advocate at infra cloud and over the next 5 minutes i am just going to give you all an overview into what developer relations actually is uh what all we do as part of it and we'll give you insights into three common roles that you can probably come across in uh, developer relations uh i'm sorry i don't have any slides uh this is the first ever talk i'm giving uh, be it lightning or a normal one so i have some notes uh, along with me so let's just get started uh so developer relations basically is an umbrella term and uh, it basically is a strategy a collection of strategies which is built around nurturing communities so uh, the role of people within developer relations is basically to act as a bridge between an organization as well as the community So there are three main things that a person working in developer relations takes care of uh, and these are basically the three Cs of devrel so you start with code uh, this is basically where uh, the developers who are involved they write code so that's what the C for code comes in uh, the second one is content so you see a lot of uh, people uh, within the developer relations community creating a lot of content and this content can be either you know blog post or videos or you know audio podcast and so on uh, the third c basically is the community so that's where they engage and deal with the community and that's where the entire so that's where so what you saw over there probably was some sort of content uh, created so you know th this is the type of content which uh, people in developer relations uh, do uh, now you would probably think that when people are coding and you know traveling worldwide interacting with community uh, what is the impact that they create because you know in the end everything is business and all you want is when i'm giving 1 dollar what am i getting back so that's the question with which you know everyone wants to know so there are three uh, impacts that i would like to highlight uh, the first one here is the increased awareness so a developer uh, a person in developer relations will increase the awareness not only of the organization that they are working for but the platform the product and the api that they are also engaged in the second one they help a lot in product building uh, because they act as a bridge between the com company and the community they understand what the product is what are the pain points of the developers so they bring back this feedback from the developers pass it on to the company and that's where they help building and improving a product uh, the last one basically is developer enablement so what basically happens here is that as a company or as a team you have developed a particular product and you want people or developers to use it now uh, as engineers you know we all are superheroes we all have capes and we have built some really amazing tools but then when it comes to helping other developers understand how to use it uh, that is where maybe some engineers might fall back and that's where you need people who are good at content who are good at reaching out to people that's where we help developers understand and adopt your uh, product Uh, so this type of role as i said is pretty common in organizations where they own a platform they own a uh, product uh, or they have other sort of apis so the talk today i'll highlight three roles as i said uh, i'll talk up so so, there, so basically there are a lot of roles here uh, so you will you would have come across a developer advocate which basically i am you would have heard about uh, tech evangelist community managers uh, developer experience uh, technical writers so these are some of the roles that fall under the entire developer relations uh, umbrella uh, so the first role that i'm going to discuss is obviously my own developer advocate uh, so in short developer advocates are developers best friend so what we basically do is we advocate for a particular platform or a product and we help along with that we help improve the awareness of the particular product so we work with the developers we understand from them what they are missing out in a particular tool and we try to help implement that in a product and uh, one of the key things which is required over here is that we need engineers who love to share their journeys uh, and you know knowledge with others 
The second one is developer experience. So just like you would have seen user experience UX, DX is helping developers get on board easily on a platform. Uh, the last one, community managers. Uh, quick question, how many of you all have attended any hackathon till now? Anywhere? So more often than not, any hackathon that's organized, there's a community manager behind it. So these were three quick roles, uh, which I had to discuss around developer relations. And the inspiration of this talk was a blog post that I've written about developer relations, which is on my uh, Twitter profile pin. So you can go there to know more about whatever I spoke. This was just a five minute glimpse. Thank you so much. Thank you.